हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ पिपोरियम एंड माइनर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ पिपोरियम पिपोरियम मीन्स द पोस्ट नेटल पीरियड विच कम्स अंडर यूनिट टेन एंड वील स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड माइनर एलिमेंट्स स्टार्टिंग विथ इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट Piperium the period of adjustment after the childbirth during which the mother's reproductive system returns to its normal pregnant state triggered by a sharp drop in the level of estrogen and progesterone produced by the placenta during pregnancy the uterus shrink back to its normal size and resumes its pre-birth position by the 6 week so what do you mean by piperium piperium means it is a stage after the delivery okay so in this stage what happen all the reproductive organs it will come back to its normal position or you can say pre pregnant states gradually slowly not directly okay so this is the period which we call postnatal period or piperium so in this chapter we are going to study the what are the complication we have in this period next we have definition of piperium it is the period of Uh, following child birth during which all the body tissues especially pelvic organs revert back to their pre pregnant state both autonom- uh, anatomically and physically it has three types one is immediate recent and remote the duration of piperium we have divided into three categories one is immediate that is first 24 hours next is recent which consider as first 7 days next we have remote category where we have consider up to the end of 6 weeks so from the time of delivery till the 6 weeks of duration we call is a postnatal period or piperium so our first complication of piperium is piperial sepsis it means infection during the piperium the first one is definition an infection of the genital tract which occurs as a complication of delivery is called as piperial sepsis okay so if there is any infection in the genital tract and which is occurs as a complication of delivery like before, uh, during the delivery if they didn't follow proper safety measures because of that is there any complication then it is called as piperial sepsis next we have predisposing factor or you can say risk factors So in that we have categorized like antepartum period or intranatal period. Okay, antepartum is antenatal or during the pregnancy before delivery. So if the mother is malnutrition or anemic, there is a chance of getting infection, preeclampsia, okay, high blood pressure, premature rupture of membrane, chronic deliberating, and illness, sexual intercourse. In that is a antepartum factors that cause piperial sepsis. in the postnatal period next we have intrapartum factors like during the delivery sepsis during internal examination is like uh, during a uh, vaginal examination if they are not following the proper septic measurements okay and dehydration and ketoacidosis traumatic operative delivery hemorrhage or placenta previa so these are the some causes or risk factor which can cause infection related to like during delivery next we have investigation or diagnostic evaluation how we will come to know that the mother is having febrile sepsis the first one is collect the history so in the history we will come to know about any malnutrition any anemia okay next we have clinical examination or physical examination head to toe examination next investigation include urine culture blood culture and vaginal swab for the culture to find out that which bacteria is affected the patient so this is the diagnostic evaluation next is medical treatment so first one is antibiotic obviously there is a infection means you have to start with antibiotic ampicillin 500 g im gentamicin okay gentamicin you have to give uh, frequent 5 mg per kg body weight then cefuroxim 750 mg ib and metronidazole 0.5 g ib this is the medical treatment for the piperial sepsis okay next we have nursing management in the nursing management certain measures are undertaken before and during postpartum period to prevent the infection like during antenatal period 
to detect and eradicate the septic focus so before only we can maintain like what are the things how they are maintaining hygiene about their health history nutrition diet we can take care to maintain or improve the health status like hemoglobin level prevent preeclampsia so we have to ask the patient to take iron supplements folic acid supplements to prevent uh, hemo- to maintain uh, proper hemoglobin level next we should take care of the personal hygiene of the patient that we have to teach the patient during the antenatal time next during internal period the delivery should be conducted taking full surgical asepsis means we have to maintain the full aseptic procedure the patient is instructed not to touch the vulva during the labor excessive blood loss should be replaced promptly and prophylactic antibiotics to prevent the infection next use of caps mask gown and gloves when working in delivery rooms use sterilized equipment within controlled rates wash hands like for staff it is like compulsory correct break in sterile technique immediately limit unnecessary vaginal examination during the labor which increase the chance of introducing organism from the recta and the vagina into the uterus so there is a limit the chance of doing vaginal examination more chance of infection because of frequent vaginal ex- uh, examination next during the postpartum period aseptic precaution should be taken during perineal care too many visitors should not be allowed sterilized pads should be used and changed and instruct the patient on hand washing and cleansing her perineum from front to back restrict the personnel with respiratory infection from walking with the patient and early ambulation postpartum ambulation means walking immediately if it is normal delivery we have to ask the patient to walk to prevent the deep brain thrombosis okay that is ambulation means movement so daily evaluation of fundal height to documents the involution Actually, normally the fundal height it will reduce 2.5 centimeter in 24 hours daily, okay, and gradually it will come back to normal stage. So you have to daily measure it that it is coming exactly or not. If it is not coming properly, there is there is some problem with the fundal height uh, reduction, okay. Next we have nursing care of puerperal infection. First one is isolation if possible, the removal of the patient from the maternity ward, then meticulous hand washing. for the staff and the patient placed in fallers position to facilitate the drainage and reduction of the patient on hand washing and peri gel so you have to give education to the patient about the hand washing and how to provide perineal care so with this we have finished puerperal sepsis and how we can treat it and what are the cause of getting puerperal infection thank you everyone